I'm Jason with Crazy Beaver Tools. A couple months ago, we learned about a new product that was coming out uh, by Dead Men Off Road, which is a basically a, an anchor that is buried in the sand. Uh, after a couple months, these guys have put it on Kickstarter, and we wanted to be able to test it out. And so these guys came out today all the way from uh, San Diego, California. Uh, we're out in the outskirts of uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we're on a great big sand dune out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we got a JK that's uh, we intentionally put in four wheel drive until it couldn't go any further up on the hill. Uh, it's running in 40s with a supercharger. Um, and so we want to test this, uh, this anchor system out. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take the dead man and we're going to dig a hole about 24 inches deep here, bury it all up. And then we're going to take the leads and put them together and attach it to the, uh, to the JK. And uh, that's going to create that anchor point so that it can uh, help the JK get back up this hill. All right, well, let's get digging. Let's get digging, let's do it. Okay, so now we've gotten, we dug a hole about 24 inches, so which is right around my kneecap. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dead man and we're gonna throw it in, and uh, then we're gonna start burying it. And, uh, so let's grab the, grab the edges here, and then we're just gonna Toss it in. Let's keep, you got to keep the, the leads out. Try to get the um, uh, the front edge closest to the Jeep, um, kind of laid flat. The back edge you can curl a little bit. You can jump here and make it thing. One thing you'll notice is that we made the wall on this hole very straight because that's going to be the the catching point. So when you're when you're when you're um, pulling this thing, it's going to catch on that front wall, and so that's going to create a hook to help just bring the thing up. Okay. Great. So now let's just go ahead and uh, start burying it. Just gotta make sure that the leads don't fall in as you start, as you're digging. Okay. All right. So now that we have the dead man buried, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the arms. Bring them to or the legs, bring them together, and then the arms and bring them together as well. So we grab the, uh, the arms. We want to make sure that the, um, the loops are kind of all facing up. We we'll bring them together. So yeah, we're gonna put the leg, the arms together like this, and then we're gonna bring the legs down. Um, sorry, these are the legs. These are the arms, and we're gonna bring the arms down and attach them to the legs. So this is what the secondary loop is for. So when you're in a um, using it as a ground anchor, what we found is that if you try to attach all together with one you know one shackle as you can see the back end is going to have to um, pull uh, a lot you know so it'll start pulling out before the front end finally gets taut so what we're doing with these secondary loops is we're trying to make all the legs taut or the legs and arms all taut at the same time okay so what we'll do is we'll take one shackle fit it through all that secondary loops and the primary loops. So we're using the soft shackle here. Can we use a metal shackle? Yes, absolutely. You can use a metal shackle. It it's, gets um, tight uh, for a standard um, 5 8 inch pin uh, shackle. Um, but what we, we like the, the soft shackles because um, it's bigger. It makes it a little bit easier to work with here. And at the same time, like if it reduces metal in the system, so there's no potential energy stored up in the metal. Uh, these straps are also polyester, which is basically are similar to this kind of material where there's no stretch in it as well. Yeah. And then the uh, same with the winch line here with these synth synthetic winch lines. So it's all kind of low potential energy. So in the rope world, this would all be static line versus dynamic. Exactly. So this is all static stuff right here. So we don't want that. Okay. We don't want it to stretch. All right. So then we grab the legs and we do the same thing. Attach the legs. And, and in this case, we're using a the hook from uh, Factor 55, but it could be anything, right? Yep, it could be anything, exactly. Again, we like the Factor 55's closed winch system. Uh, just reduces the you know potential of things slipping or anything like that. So that's why we're grabbing that hole right there. Although they did a fantastic job with this design. And uh, there we go. So we're all we're all set up, all tight, and um, ready to go and recover the vehicle.
How you guys doing? Uh, I'm Sean from Pitbull Motor Toys. Uh, we're out here with uh, Dead Man Off Road and Crazy Beaver Tools, uh, trying out a uh, Dead Man's new recovery system that they're uh, launching. Uh, I was a little skeptical, and uh, it was cool how, how very simple to use, make it work, and um, and it pulled my Jeep up. We've got a 2013 JK. This thing weighs almost 7,000 pounds. Uh, it's on 40s with uh, 60 uh, Terra 60 axles. Uh, we left them aired up and purposely uh, got it got it pretty stuck on this sand hill. Very soft, uh, slick sand out here. And uh, we buried the dead man and uh, we used our Warren 12,000 uh, pound uh, Xenon winch on it with all the synthetics and the remote control and uh, hooked it up with all the Factor 55 uh, recovery and uh, used the bubble rope, the gator jaw. And uh, man, this thing just, it, Pulled us right up. Uh, the anchor stayed and did exactly what it needed to do. It's very nice, compact, easy to you know put in your Jeep underneath your seat. Doesn't take up a lot of space, and uh, dig a hole and use it. As you guys just saw, we uh, used uh, Sean's Jeep to test out this new product. I have to admit, I was kind of skeptical at first when that when that uh, anchor got loaded up and uh, the Jeep started putting tension on it. I watched the dirt as it started to move, and I thought. Oh, it's going to pull out, but then all of a sudden it settled and uh, the Jeep started coming up. It's pretty incredible. Then once we came over it, uh, we unhooked and uh, all we did was hook up the back and pulled out. It left all the dirt behind and then at that point we just filled in the hole yeah, a little bit good. more. But relatively, uh, you know, one sandstorm, it's all gone. You'll never even know we're here. But uh, the ease of pulling it out was just incredible. So. Uh, I've been, I'm super impressed with that. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for having us out here. This has been a blast and uh, it was really cool to see that big Jeep come on up over this hill using this thing. So it was a lot of fun. Thank you for having us out. Awesome, thank you.